What's up people, Naira again from Phantom Production. Today guys, I want to show you on how to clean a bad recorded vocal. So this is a vocal that uh, was that was sent to me and the vocal was badly recorded. Let's listen to the vocal and see what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your boy, Kojos. Feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, when you listen to the vocal, you understand and you will see what I mean. There's too much noise, too much background noise. And most of the time, if you, in this case like this, if it's a commercial song or a song that you want to do, make sure you record it in a good, proper environment and avoid noise as possible as you can. Since this one was sent to me and there's nothing I can do about it, it's just to clean it and try to see how I can mix it. So in the part two of the session, I will, I will show you guys on how I mix this vocal. So now let's do our cleaning process. Now, FS Studio has inbuilt various forms that you can use to clean your vocals. So guys, let's just go with this one. First we'll do, let's take this project to Edison. Just see what we'll do in this case. Just click the, come to this arrow up here and this drop down here. You click it, go to edit sample. Now when you click edit sample, the project automatically goes to Edison. So now what we'll do now, let's play it on Edison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the, that's the vocal now in Edison. So what I want to do is, what I want to show you guys is, FS Studio got this good uh, uh, noise noise cleaner in Edison, which I, I really love. So what I, what I want to show you guys is that when you are in Edison like this, what you do, just look for, look for a clean part, which contain the noise yeah 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 i'm your bike just feel me yeah okay i've seen this area that the noise here is really strong in this area so the noise since the noise is really strong in this area so what we'll do let's try to acquire it just just right click highlight the area that you want to acquire that noise just the area don't don't tamper with the section of the the vocal itself so we've just highlighted that one so you go now to this brush icon here click it now what you need to do is just to click acquire noise sample noise profile you click it now it will acquire that noise the next thing you do is now just align everything go back to that uh, that brush icon click it again then accept you hit accept as you can see every studio will automatically denoise the vocal let's just wait for it to 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 process it okay now that is done with the processing now let's listen to the vocal and see what we have yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your bike, just feel me. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay, as you can see, you you will notice the difference. You will see that it has done a great job here. So let's listen to the original version without that noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get back to Edison. Let's get back to Edison and let's listen to this one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your bike, just. Now you can see the different clear. And if you are not satisfied, you can still repeat that process. But have it in mind: the more you do, the more you repeat the process, the vocal become thinner. So I don't want to do that again because I don't want the vocal to be thin. So what you do, you can you can hit it here. You send it to the playlist here it will be sent automatically to the playlist or you can hold it here drag it and you paste it there that's the same thing right then let's listen to this one that we've we've uh clean yeah 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 now you can see the difference but we are still having little noise there's still noise on the vocal so since there's still noise there and uh, we want to clean it the more and want it to be clean. So what you can do is just, let's say you just, let's do this. Let's do it manually here. I'm, I'm sliding it right now. So what I want to do is, uh, okay. So now I just drag it here. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just doing it manually. You do this. So let's listen to this one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So now you can do this all in the track. So um, when you are done like this, I always, uh, I will come here to this. I uh, can put it in smooth, smooth bleeding or generic. Now 
why am I doing this to prevent studio crack? Okay, this is to prevent that studio crack. So as you can see now, the vocal is clean and better from what we yeah, yeah, have. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's it, guys. That's how you clean your vocal in FS Studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you can do this, and there's another sh shortcut that you can still do to achieve this uh, this same process. If you have a third party gate, you can use a gate plugin. Now, FS Studio have this. Uh, so let's check FS Studio. Let's check the limiter. Or uh, let's check the limiter. So there's this limiter here. You can still come to this limiter, and there's a preset already here that is the gate. So we just you click it, and let's listen to it with the gate. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same thing now. Now, without that limiter, let's get the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear that much the background noise. So that's how you clean your vocal. So thank you guys for watching. And if you're new to this channel, guys, please subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. So when I drop a video, you will get to be notified, guys. So welcome and once again, uh, thanks for watching.